Hello, my name is Ari Isaac. I'm a GIS analyst at the Port of San Diego. And today I'd like to talk about the Street Viewer task, which we are integrating with the uh, Harbor Police Port, uh, Port GIS. Uh, so this is sort of a overview of the Street Viewer task and uh, an intro to the um, Port GIS, the Harbor Police version of the Port GIS. Um, so basically, the Street Viewer task is located here. Well, wait, first of all, uh, we'd like to give credit to ESRI uh, at the ArcScript site. You can download this task, and uh, it was it was shown at the 2008 user conference. Um, and also, it uses the uh, Google Street View API, so um, we'd like to give credit to them, too. Um, but you can download it from the ArcScript's website, and uh, it was fairly easy to put together, um, and um, we appreciate them making it available. Uh, first of all, uh, let's just go over the real basics here. This is the questions we want to ask. The questions are a little different than pro maybe yours because um, this is specific for the port for the har the harbor police. Um, here are the questions. Here's the interface for the question, and this is the variables in your question. And then there's the results uh, of your question. And below here are the uh, contents um, of your map. Uh, basically, I am going to get rid of the, well not get rid of, but uh, move this, turn this off because it's easier with it off. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to use the task straight away and then we're going to use it with a, uh, a feature, a previous pop-up. So we're going to go to somewhere familiar and this should look familiar to everybody. Uh, so um, everybody, port employees that is. So first you click the uh, street viewer, and then you click uh, this, and basically all this does, let's click up here, all this does is it figures out the location of the point you just clicked, and then one, and then you click find, and what it does is it adds that point, it creates a result here, and it adds that point down to the results, and you can click here, or you can right click here and do show, show pop-up window, I'm going to click here, and uh, Come on. There it goes. So basically, this is our uh, street view. And uh, if you let's turn around. So there's our building there. And look at that. So um, it's a beautiful day in San Diego, don't you think? Well, it was probably a nice sunset that evening. But um, for the next task, we'll go over to an area that's a little more representative of San Diego. One thing I did want to point out with this street view task is um, I'm going to move it a little bit off so we can see. What it does, all right, let's show it again there. Okay. What it does is it creates uh, a little, uh, you know, from the from the button, uh, from from the uh, the icon, it creates a little uh, a blow up, uh, and then you have to adjust adjust this. But uh, if you move, you can move in here by clicking the arrows. And I think I'm going the wrong way for my example. I'm going to go this way. Let's go back down Pacific Highway. I just wanted to show that as you move, the but the button doesn't move, as opposed to in Google Maps or um, Google Earth where the person does move. But here it doesn't, so I don't want you to think that your picture is at a location that it's not. Like basically, we are we are almost underneath the bridge here, and the bridge is located here. So um, I wouldn't want you to think that you're looking at the wrong place. So that's an important, an important feature. Uh, anyway, let's do another example of how, to, how we can get this data. Let's scroll over to, here we have these, um, I'm going to make this full screen so that we can see here we have these uh, police cars that are a KML. Now if you, up, if you update the police cars, if you look at if you click on the police car, you get this piece of information. It says uh, location last updated, uh, you know, two months ago. Uh, this is because the there's a there's a unit in the car and and uh, it hasn't been turned on. But as we develop this, we're hoping that it'll be updated more more evenly. Now, if you look here at the bottom, you have these little uh, 
you know, capabilities, get driving directions to here from here. If you click the street viewer here, what it does is if you just we clicked it at the the GPS unit, the GPS point, the latitude and longitude got punched right into here for that exact point and then you click find. It creates another street view and then you can do show pop-up window. So now you've got Now I'm going to maximize this so you can see what's going on here. Now you've got your street view and your location at the exact place. Now obviously this is useful because um, if the police are responding to an incident, uh, the dispatchers or possibly in the future maybe in the cars uh, can see exactly you know where, what kind of environment we're looking at. So this is really the police car is actually right about where that car in the picture is. Um, but uh, so this, this dome is this dome right here. Uh, but um, you know, hopefully it can be used. It'll be useful in. Uh, this is one application for how it's useful for the harbor police. Um, maybe uh, it will be useful for engineering or for real estate in a in a different fashion. Anyway, uh, that's the basics of the um, street view task. I'm going to close this stuff out minimize this and um, I did just want to uh, mention my name is Ari Isaac I'm a GIS analyst at the Port of San Diego my email is AISAAK at portofsandiego.org uh, my phone number is 619-400-4778 uh, and um, I'm very excited about the Port GIS program and I hope uh, I hope you are too anyway thank you very much talk to you later bye